This is my new Gretsch Catalina Maple drum kit. I just got it two days ago and I absolutely love it. It's a cherry lacquer finish. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'll come around and talk about my drums a little bit. Uh, this is my uh, 12 by 9 rack tom. It's got the Remo pinstripe head and the stock head on the bottom. It's got a Remo tone dampening ring on it. Uh, my 14 by 14 floor tom. It's got stock heads on both top and bottom. And it's also got the Remo tone control ring. And my 16 by 16 floor tom has got the Remo pinstripe head on the top and the stock head on the bottom. And it's got the little Remo uh, tone ring on it as well. Uh, my snare is actually a Yamaha Stage Custom. It's a 14 inch, it's got a moon gel on it, and it's a uh, Remo Power Stroke. Now I'll uh, go ahead and give you a little sound test of the drums. I don't know how good it'll sound on this camera, but we'll see. This is the 14 inch snare. This is the 12 inch rack tom. Um, I haven't quite achieved the sound that I was going for out of this tom yet. I was going for more of a deeper low end sound, kind of punchy for lack of a better word. But uh, I'm not sure if it's the tuning or whether it's the head that I have on it. I have the just the Remo pinstripe. Um, if you guys know if there's a better head that I could use to get more of that uh, lower end sound, like a deeper sound out of it, uh, feel free to uh, give any tips. I'd, I'd appreciate that. Um, this is my 14 inch floor tom. It still has the stock heads on it. And um, I just took it out of the box. I tuned it up a little bit and I was really surprised with the stock head. So I actually kept it on. But uh, here it is. This is the 16 by 16 floor tom. Um, this one's got kind of a, still got kind of a weird overtone, and again, I'm not sure if it's the tuning or if it's the kind of head I'm using. I got the Remo pinstripe on the top and the stock head on the bottom. If there's a, like I said, if there's a better head that I should be using for that, uh, deeper, lower in sound without any weird overtones, um, I'd greatly appreciate your guys' input. And um, this is my bass drum. I got the Remo Power Stroke on it now, and a little uh, double bass pedal uh, thing there. And here it is. And now for my hardware. I'll start with my double bass pedal. It's a DW4000, and it's very smooth, quiet. It's pretty easy to pretty easy to use. I really like it a lot. That was one of my first upgrades on the on on my uh, actually my old kit is when I got that. I've had that old kit for probably 12 years and and I just now upgrading, so it's pretty nice. The double bass pedal works great. Um my snare stand is a sonar. I don't know if I pronounce that right, but it's just a little basket uh, snare stand. It's very sturdy, uh, heavy duty, very nice. It's a uh, 200 series. And um, the hi-hat stand is uh, came with my old piece kit. It's just a double braced kind of generic stand. It does what it's supposed to do, but, but um, I've seen better. Um, this uh, stand, it's a Mapex boom stand. I got it at a local music shop. Uh, it's used, but it it's really heavy duty and it does what it's supposed to do. It's it holds my uh, Zildjian A Custom 16 inch crash that I just recently got, and also I have a Gibraltar L rod mounted onto it to uh, that attaches to my tom and it it works very nicely. It holds the tom and the cymbal both very well. It's very sturdy. I haven't had any problems with it whatsoever. 
Um, my uh, stand, my boom stand over here is a Pearl. I don't know the exact model number of it, but it, it does what it's supposed to do. It's double braced, uh, it holds everything very well, including this very big 20 inch uh, Zildjian ZBT ride. And it, that is mounted on a sound percussion uh, boom arm attachment that I just got not that long ago, actually. It, I'm really happy with both the, the attachment and the stand. They're both uh, hold a lot of weight and they're very durable. And over here I've got a Pearl uh, boom stand. I don't know the exact model of it, but it's pretty heavy duty. It holds the ride over there, which is pretty heavy. It's got the sound percussion uh, boom arm attachment mounted onto it, which is also very heavy duty. It, it does a really good job at holding the ride. And um, also it's got mounted on it the Vader percussion multi-stick holder and it it does it it's uh does what it's supposed to do it's it's a uh, pretty high quality I'm I'm pretty happy with it I just got it not that long ago but I I put a little bit of felt on the inside because it didn't come with anything to go around the outside as you can see kind of right here it just uh, I got felt that stick that's sticky on one side and so that way the sticks don't cling around in there when you uh, put them back in there this is my uh, straight symbol stand that came with my uh, old piece kit and it's double braced but it's kind of thin that's the only thing it holds my 12 inch china uh, so it it doesn't really make a it's not really a big deal but it's just um, it does what it's supposed to do and I mean I haven't really had too much of a problem with it well I hope you guys enjoyed my tour